to appear in the championship game of Arch Madness. Head man now in his fourth campaign for Drake, Darren DeVries. It's a fourth straight trip to the semifinals, trying to make it back-to-back -back journeys to the title game. Starting lineups brought to you by Kubota. Garrett Sturts, 11.7 and a half boards per for Drake. Look out for Jamonte Black, called the heart and soul of Missouri State. By their fourth-year head man, Dana Ford, he's in the semis for a third straight year. And for more, let's join Evan Washburn. Got a motion with them into this one. Appreciate that, Evan. Now, Dana Ford has been blunt about it all week. No secret, our program hasn't been to the big dance since 1999. Nobody on our team was even born back then when Steve Alford was the head coach. And in his opening press conference, he spoke squarely, I'm here to win championships, period. Lukai Patterson off the head of Prim. Patterson an increased role during the course of the year. Donovan Clay an import from Valpo. Outstanding defensive dynamo. Defended by DeVries. Clay falling away with two on the top. But there really wasn't much going on there. In the offensive set, and Clay just took it upon himself, kind of iso ball. Made a really tough shot. Good start for the Bears. Antoine Kempel, nicknamed Tank, and off to Tremel Murphy. Murphy feels the double. Sturts kicks. Screen for DeVries. Clay screened off. Prim picks him up. Seven to shoot. Sturts floats it up. Short. Clay's got it. Black off Mosley in perfect position and his first points of the game. That's dangerous. When you give a score an easy basket like that, you know what that does confidence-wise? I mean, what a remarkable way to get going. And when Mosley gets going, he's had multiple games this year where he's had 40-plus points. And the triggers seem to come in perhaps on paper their biggest game at the time in non-league. Roman Penn over Prim. Weak side starts who rebounds beautifully at 6-3. Murphy. DeVries. He is their leading scorer. Only a freshman contested. Hits it. That is big time. He actually got hit in the face before he shot that shot. 6-7 freshman. Helps when your dad's the coach. You just play with a certain level of confidence. At least I would. Also helps him hear that good. Iowa's Mr. <laughs> Basketball 2021, the highest ranked rank recruit since 1989. That helps him dash the coach. Patterson and air ball. And weak side to Breeze. Tucker and Dad Darren have a, an awesome relationship, regularly talking all things basketball in and out. Great ball, last touch to Missouri State. I was trying to get Darren DeVries, who's done such a great job, two-time Missouri Valley Conference Coach of the Year. Is there any topic that's off limits with your son? And he said, no, we talk about everything. No, he did admit sometimes at the dinner table they may text so that mom doesn't know they're still talking basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Opposite Penn. Slithers past Prim, starts somehow, finds that ball, and puts it home as Mosley doubled down. Darren DeVries described Garrett Sturts having a magnet with him in the basketball. And so far in this game, the ball has found him a couple times. Now Prim, using that gross size advantage, floats it up and in. How was he at Division II West Texas a &M? That I do not know. But now he's with Missouri State, and when he's able to turn both right and left, he is devastated. The breeze hits here, rebound to Clay. Clay's another guy like Sturks. They're just a fantastic blue guy. Does a little bit of everything. One of the best defenders in the valley as well. Step out of bounds by Demonte Black. This is my first time seeing Tucker DeVries up close and personal. And we're only three plus minutes into the game. Wow. He's got a lot of Wally Zerbiak in his game. Wally obviously now with CBS. 
him and Evan Washburn used the same product in their hair and you know was an outstanding player led Miami Ohio Sweet 16 his senior year look at you with the scouting report on hair products if anybody would know it's you Penn. off the iron Mosley on the run Prim helped shield him Little time follow here comes Roman Penn Penn was among the several banged up at this stage last year. DeVries wanted the deep three. A strike closer. He drills it. And he thought he should have had a chance at a four-point play. Devontae Black. Mosley got the jersey tug by Hemphill. Ball screen Prim. Eight to shoot. Mosley stepping back. You talked about that exact shot before the game. Yeah, because it's the player in me has nightmares. How do you guard that? You know, we I thought we were watching two pros last game, and AJ Gray and Lucas Williamson, and one by Loyola for just joining us. We're watching two pros in this game with Mosley and DeVries. Sturts had it swatted aside. Mosley and the end slapped by Murphy. Good action here, back and forth. Some talented guys and some shot makers. There wasn't a whole lot of shots. Who will meet Loyola Chicago for the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament title? It is Bears ball, the two seed. They can drill it from deep. They're one of three Division I teams in the country to have three players that have made 65 or more threes. It's them, Jacksonville State, and Syracuse. Jalen Bennett off on that jump. Roman Penn who runs point foot injury curtailed the season last year slowed him significantly this year Did not get to play in this tournament a season ago Manette denying DeVries four to shoot Sturts running out of time the heave by Murphy Mur Manette has it for Missouri State The lob up ahead Dawson Parker couldn't handle Oh, the weaving action of Hemphill. Triple team. Feed starts driving down the lane. And he is the reason why there are hard hats of plenty in the sea of blue behind the Drake bench. Brings that mentality. Literally brought the hard hat that he found in a closet. And Drake has embraced it. And coast to coast, and he misses. That was a sensational in and out dribble. This is just Sturtz's game. I don't even know how to describe it because he is literally a jack of all trades. How do you average seven rebounds as a 6 3 guard who's really not that athletic? He just has an amazing nose for the ball. Well, he was originally a walk-on under Nico Medved, who now makes noise as the head coach of Colorado State. When Darren DeVries took over, all eight inbound scholarship recruits decommitted, and he became a scholarship recruit. Oh, what a spin by Mosley. Gets swallowed up by defenders, falling away. And Sturts tips it to his much larger teammate, Darnell Brody. DeVries getting bound, bodied and hounded by Patterson. Prim gives help, starts and loads. Switch! He's only a 26% outside shooter. Didn't look like it there. He's doing a little bit of everything. And gets scored on there as Patterson. He's got amazing strength. And hats off to Lukai Patterson. Changed his body and it's completely revolutionized his game. He lost about 35 pounds in advance of the season. Just getting through practices was an issue conditioning wise. Hard screen. The Greens fall away. The long two on three. Patterson. And an offensive foul. What a hard hit on the floor there.
Io Akinwole, the Omaha transfer on the wrong end of it. Akinwole, if it doesn't work out in basketball, get him a stuntman job because he went flying. He sold that to me. Bulldogs can see their offense go barren at times. And Pill. Rattles away on the hook try. The Bears sworn for the rebound. Brody and Prem. Some extras down low. Some big bodies there. Mosley falling away. Now, Tim, you and I did the non-league game for Missouri State against the then top 10 ranked BYU team that Dana Ford believes was the turning point of Mosley's season. Played seven minutes in that game. They lost to BYU. He did not score. And it was. And I asked him, I said, what what did you end up doing? They got back in the gym. It motivated me. So I didn't know what Dana Ford was thinking at the time, but it ended up being right. Went off for 20 plus in each of the next two, and that turned his season around to where he was a finalist for the Larry Bird Award as player of the year in the league for a second straight year. He is not shy about shooting today. Oh, the head man to hit Bill. Drop step on play. Using his length to surround him. Brody. DeVries gets a stride on Mosley. Up fake forward. And misses. Prince has got it. DeVries plays with a pace of a Luka Doncic. You know, he changes speeds. He's never out of control. He's got great length. He, he's only a freshman. All of the shots that he has missed in this game have either been short or long. They've all been straight off. Black top of the key. A misfire. Hit pill. Leaking ahead. Akinwole. Brody the hard screen. Sturts against the big and Prim. Akinwole have a crossover. Air ball. Sturts trying to playground it. Mosley's got it. Right now, for this drink lineup that's out there, it's really just DeVries who's the score. That's why the, the shot selection hasn't been great in the last couple of possessions. Mosley runs into Brody and a whistle. DeVries thought he got hacked a couple of times early. The Bears have brought even. The State Farm is a great look, and it's something that he just found in the closet and thought this would be cool. And, and it's funny, you know, we spoke with Darren DeVries and asked him, do you remember the moment where the hard hat appeared? He said, no. At one point, I just noticed it, but it could have been there for a while. I'm, I'm not really sure. What do you think, Evan? One quick add, too, guys. The, the hard hat, the original, not the prototype that I was rocking there. He actually gave it to a young fan recently. So, I mean, just adding to the fact that it's become synonymous with the program this year, he took it to another level by uh, making a young fan's day by, by giving the, the original uh, after a game recently. That's pretty cool. Young man that Darren DeVries says may be the most unique player that he's ever coached in his quarter century of working the sidelines. Uh, and Darren DeVries has won 93 games over the last four years. And this was a guy who was supposed to be a walk-on in Sturts. Instead, he almost ends up shaping the culture of DeVries' squad. Of being a guy you point to to look how hard Sturts is playing. We need everybody to play as hard, as unselfish, be that type of teammate. So someone that was supposed to be a castaway, that's why we love sports so much, those stories. We appreciate you sharing that, Evan. But he's not just wearing a hard hat, he's out here delivering, and he's been a factor in this game so far, John. Indeed he has fouled a play. Here's pressure. What do you see? Yeah, what, where Lukai Patterson's at his best is when he's posting up. He's one of the best guards in the country when he gets close to the basket. He's not necessarily an outside shooter, but so strong. I would like to see him post up Penn. Patterson crossing over Penn. Needs a shoot, picks it up. Mosley. Bears have a hit a field goal in three and a half minutes. One to shoot. Patterson, did he get it off in time? No! Shot clock violation. I thought that Patterson was starting to 
get to his spot, and then he gave up the ball. Mosley put him in kind of in a tough spot to go out there and make a play. He should have kept his dribble alive and used that strength. He's so good posting up. Drake is misfired on its last five from the field. And Pill saw the double coming up top. Murphy. And Black's got it. Now, earlier in the year, you asked Dana Ford, what are you doing when you're at your best? And Black drills it in transition. And he talked about how the ball needs to move. There needs to be energy and chatter on the floor. And toughness was the word that he kept using over and over again. Because I think he knew he had the talent. There. Brody misses, Prim the board. I've said this all year. I believe that Missouri State has the most offensive talent in the league. And a lot of it from Mosley. He misses. Brody's got it. And slipping past Prim. Down on the floor. That'll be the first on Gage Prim. Who leads the Missouri Valley Conference 11 double doubles of the year. Wrestling match there. It's like a tugboat hillbilly gym down low in the post going at it. Physicality, no overalls. But Brody played some really strong minutes there. Looks like Prim was on the bench. You can kind of see those guys rotating out together. Sub with Harper coming back in for Missouri State. Oh, the breeze got past Clay. And after an offensive flurry at the start, each team has had some cold stretches. Clay muscling DeBreeze. Patterson. Now backing in on Penn. There we go. And that's his strength. See, and good luck. And guards don't know how to guard other guards in the post. So if you're a guard, use that strength. Great look there by Patterson. He's got the strength. DeBreeze is a lock if he sticks around four years at Drake to be player of the year. You agree with that? Yes. I don't throw around locks too often. This is a free throw. That's a good one. Harper is one of the few poor free throw shooters on a top three free throw shooting team in the country. Remember that? It comes down to it later. Ten. Elbow J on the way is good. A great back to back seasons with 13 league wins. First time since 1969 1970. They've been able to amass that. Well, the Bears have won 12 of 15. Forged a three way tie for second with Drake and Loyola. Donovan Clay. What a battle it's been against DeBreeze. Clay can just mold himself to do anything in the floor. Defend, whatever. Good finish there by Murphy. Feels like that pace has picked up some. Tim Goyle punts are at an all-time high. Patterson twirling, hit and fouled by Sturtz. Yeah, this is great patience. Clay is known as a defensive guy, but he's made some big shots this year. He's guarded the other team's best player at that time. Excellent patience down low, using maybe that experience against the young DeVries. But did you see Patterson there in the post up? He's so good at that. Made it out on the first try. Because if you watch the game now at the grassroots level, just watch kids warm up. All right, watch their first couple of shots. They're definitely behind the three point line. No one's like walking on a court and like start pounding the ball into a post move. So those old school moves, uh, they still work pretty well if you have them in your bag. Able to convert to the back end. Prim is back in, by the way. Harper out for Missouri State. Sturt sets the screen. It's fed. Oh, nice fake. That fooled Patterson, but he misses the shot. Prim the board. Patterson on a mission. He might have hurt you, Tim Boyle. Play. It's heel. Tap forward. Cannon strong. 
for Mel Murphy. Giving up a lot of size to Prince. Murphy again attacks Prim and one. They're giving up about three inches. Uh, 35 pounds, but not intimidated. He got to his spot. That's a big foul. That is two on Gage Prim. We had a lengthy chat with Dana Ford in advance of this game about foul concern. According to him, hard fast rule. Two fouls first half, you're done. But he confessed he needed to make exceptions, particularly in this tournament. Gage Prim stays in with two fouls. Stick to his word. Gets fed. And a trap. Yeah, I think Dana Ford's going to get pulled out of there right now. Because how hard is that to turn on? If it's been a program rule for the year, your basketball life for the season has been two fouls you sit. Now on a game of higher stature, you stay in. Does that psychologically impact certain players? Of course, someone who definitely plays with an aggressive style. He's an attacker. Starts out of the corner. And Carper. Mosley's been quiet here. I try to give him a touch. Black down the lane. Play slips past the breeze. Under the cup. Oh, what a finish. Three ball, partially rejected for Jam Goose. Ball's not moving, nobody's moving. Sturts, flips the pin. Murphy with seven to shoot. Over a big backer. He was so good in this tournament last year. He had 20 points on 8 of 10 shooting in both the semifinals and the championship. Mosley, oh, you called for it. He changes hands. Timeout, Missouri State, after a spectacular finish by Mosley. There have been some fan teams to make the big dance. Drake also made the tournament, posted its first NCAA tournament win in 50 years. And they've been to multiple Final Fours in the last decade. This league means business in the March. Over the last 10 years, 12 and 1 the Valley in the first round games. So whoever gets in, and I believe Loyola should get in. I don't know if they will. Tune in for halftime, see what Jerry Palm has to say. But whoever gets into this league is going to be very dangerous. I guarantee wins. Gage Prim remains on the Missouri State bench. Four to shoot. DeVries running out of time. Hoist at the horn. No. Parker's got it. So here come the Bears. You had called for Mosley to ignite before that last break. Black. Off. Parker the rebound. And a foul. Parker's giving them some good minutes. And he is big. The breeze caught an elbow there to the side of the head. But yes, Mosley's just been kind of meandering out there. Watch his elbow. Bam. And Mosley gets it on entry. Off the jab step. <laughs> That's a tough shot. He is a certifiable bucket getter. Does that come in the mail? Is there a seal? How do you get that certificate? Oh! The enormous sore from Tramel Murphy. He was about to destroy the rim, and the ball got knocked free. Yeah, what a great defensive play by... They got a couple of Missouri State players there. Haney and Clay both came over and converged. DeVries, corner three. 
the weak side is Clay. Donovan Clay transferred in league from Valpo at 17 to lead the team against the Crusaders last round. Black the contested triple. Roman Penn lets it fly. Swift. He's overcome a number of injuries. Twice has led this league in assists. First man to do so since Fred Van Vliet with Wichita State. Mosley body. That's a tough shot. DeBreeze in transition. The shot's not there. Jump ball. Great ball. And Mosley is such a creative scorer. Step back with the left foot. Athleticism. I've seen him live this year four times. We talked about this earlier. The first time I saw him was against BYU. He only played seven minutes and had no points. The next time I saw him, saw him here 40 points and they beat the Lord. Talent is true. And Pill up top, extra pass, Penn. The shoulder of Haney, no call. And the shot down. Mosley's in a rhythm right now. I can see him. He's talking to Hempill like he's going to get the ball. There's Mosley. The double comes. Haney, the freshman. Long rebound, Sturtz. Surveys, pass pass to Penn. Offensive foul. What a job by Haney getting back. What a great lesson. An excellent job pointing that out. Because I thought he was still moving. I, I knew he was outside the circle. The circle it makes it, if you are outside, a little bit easier of a call. It's the hardest call in the game. But great job by Haney after he missed the shot, getting back on defense and obviously picking up that charge. And it's the second foul on Roman Penn, their primary point guard. Now, Hempel has to be careful. He takes great umbrage with this call. Flailed his elbow. Well, you can see he's guarding Mosley out by half court. Mm. Last time Mosley got the ball, the double team came. That's what I would do. I get the ball in his hands. Makes him make Haney make shots. I would say, yeah, Lukai Patterson's guy. Like, don't leave black, but everybody else should be doubling Mosley. There's the double. Pushing through, able to find play. Mosley against DeBreeze. Pass tipped. Bulldogs on the push. Murphy against Clay. Weak side one back by Drake. You can get a two for one here if you get off a shot in the next couple of seconds. And Pill on the spot. Play tumble down. They will get the ball back. We got about eight second difference in game and shot clock. Four ties, nine lead changes. Play wide open. Off Haney flies in and finishes. They plan to redshirt him. Timeout, Drake. Bulldogs call the use it or lose it. What will Darren DeVries draw? One and nobody ever does it in college basketball because you get the ball twice, the team really get the ball once. College coaches don't want to surrender that power. Uh, I would look for DeVries here with no pen out there. It's going to be him going one on one. I would want to get Clay. I would try to set a screen, get Clay off them. Clay's a really good on ball defender. He added a shooter in number 10, Okai Jam Goose. Almost all of the shots from him. Four seconds. And a whistle of 2.6. So on the floor with under three. And fouls to give for Dana Ford. If I had a clean look on the catch, we'd let it fly. But you got to think that they're going to want to give a foul. You may be able to get to the line. 
change to put Sturts in the post. He gets fed on the wing. Sturts. And halftime arrives. A one-point game at the break. Somebody's at least scoring. The first game, we, uh, you and I had a really hard time putting the ball in the basket. Free time offensively. They have just one assist in that first half, guys. They know what they need to do. It's stop Mosley. Appreciate that, Evan. It's certainly apparent his impact, and he'll trigger here to begin the second. You know, it's interesting. Darren DeVries talked about the shooting. You mentioned the season-long six-game win streak. One of the standouts in that surge, they've been shooting 50% from the field on that win streak. And winning their games by an average of over double digits. So winning convincingly as well. Play against DeVries. That's been a battle most of the game. And a whistle on the floor. And that was an important play there because Gage Prim was in the middle of the action. He sat the last five plus minutes of the first half with two fouls. That would have been torture there if he would have picked up his third so early in the second half. Foul to Murphy, his second. I wonder if Prim can get a touch here and we'll lob it to him. Mosley. Prim showed screen as the double comes. Prim on the drive. Extra give. Patterson underneath with little angle in and out. Sturts the rebound. It's Patterson. Pretty shot. Yeah, Tank has not really been the same player coming off all the injuries, but he uses such great basketball guile and strength, and he is a warrior out there on the floor. He's got his hands full on this end. Trying to guard Mosley. Play of the Bears. Offensive success with little ball movement early on. Patterson to play. Pops the three. And the rebound to Drake and Roman Penn. He had foul issue late in the first half. Coast to coast. This time he finishes. Now I'm going to give uh, Missouri State a suggestion here. I would set a ball screen with a playmaker. Because if whoever doubles off of that guy, that guy, that guy has to go make a play. Prim rumbling. Jump ball. And Tucker DeVries is fired up. Yeah, Penn's got an amazing inside-out dribble right there. He turned around Patterson. He did the same thing in the first half and then missed the layup. But I think you got to keep going to Mosley. If they want to double you, then you make it that you play with four and they play with three. And that guy has to be a decision maker who's getting that ball from Mosley to go out there and be an aggressive playmaker, either scoring or hooking up his teammates. Third seems surprised to find that pass. Murphy, rainbow miss off heel. Play bumped with Jamonte Black. So here it is. Mosley carries the basketball as he was pressured by Hemphill. You can feel Missouri State starting to unravel a bit. You got the under 16 timeout. They're not that far away, but eight turnovers, seven more possessions for Drake. Penn on the bounce to Sturt, sports it home. Timeout, Missouri State. Large entrant had posted its first NCAA tournament win in 50 years to the day. What will happen in this game is Drake has scored the first six points of the second half. It's Bears ball at the Missouri State Bowl timeout. You gotta think Mosley's gonna get a touch here instead of Prim and it's turned over. Force to Prim, Penn on the run. Take the pull up, Sturts, Debris shaping up. Debris started hot, but now stands three of ten from the field. Right into Prim, ball pops through. Outlet to Clay. Mosley wants it. Black gets fed on the wing. And an offensive foul as Penn tumbles down. Hey, Kip Kissinger is one of the best officials in college basketball, but that's a really easy call. It's right in front of him. But we're, but we're upstairs with the glasses off. I don't know. Would you be an emphatic charge guy? Because we know who those referees are. The emphatic charge guy referees. 
I'm an understated man. Evan Washburn being the kind of charge guy. Ten for three. Yes! Roman Penn broke his foot February 21st of last year. He missed out on March Madness. He missed out on March Madness. Patterson up and under. Bucket. First points for the Bears this half. I don't know why Patterson doesn't do that more. He's gotten fouled. He's a, had an assist. He's a bucket. I post him up all the time. Snaps a 9-0 run. Sturts will shake and bake. Prim able to defend him. Hard screen by Sturts to Breeze. Contested Jay. Rattles in. Toughness, the core word used by both coaches repeatedly in advance of this game. Patterson right into the post, partner. High kiss, make. And then a whistle as a Bulldog slow to get up. And there's Penn. His face buried in his hands, writhing in what seems to be this year, and his loss has been felt. They've been able to manage it, but when you think about defending a guy like Mosley, that's where Wilkins would really come in handy. Well, their best defender, appreciate that, Evan, according to Darren DeBreeze, who also said he was their most consistent shot maker entering the tournament. They lost his outside shooting prowess, his leadership, and his defense. And here is Drake ahead of Missouri State. Got three out of bounds. Nice touch to the hands of Jalen Manette. Well, it seems like Missouri State has gotten away from getting Isaiah Mosley the ball because he's being double teamed. Use that to your advantage. They want to put two guys on one. That means we have an extra player on offense. Hill against Prince giving up a lot of size. Weaves around him. Misfire. And Prim collects it. And that transition pull up. Murphy soars for the board. And you can get that shot at any time. It's not what you need right now when you're struggling on offense. A quick three. Debris hits deal. Patterson wins it. Headman. Can't double him in transition like that. And he feeds the cut and grip. Great catch. Talked about those hands in the open. Amazing catch from Gage Prem. That's only the second assist of the game from Missouri State. Sturts, sharp dribble. And defended by the length of play. Ball screen to Breeze, cuts. And steps into it. Long rebound, Patterson. Hard screen by Prim, and Patterson banks it home. Darren DeVries says get it across, timeout. Missouri State in their home state. Far behind. We, too. we know Loyola Chicago is on to the championship game. The four upset the one. Who will prevail between Missouri State and Drake at 2 o'clock Eastern tip on CBS? And if Drake's called timeout, Bulldog ball. DeVries bodied by Patterson. Puts it up short, whistle. And if DeVries gave Patterson to Patterson, he backed him down and got to his spot. He's got about eight inches on Patterson. He's able to get to the free throw line. And the foul to Patterson, his second. DeVries' first free throw attempt of the day is good. 75% free throw shooter. Follows a legacy is Dad Darren, an outstanding Valley player in his own right. Thousand point scorer, two time captain at Northern Iowa. He led his team in three point shooting three times and spent 17 years as an assistant under Dana Altman, Greg McDermott, and Creighton. Confessed it, came down in some ways to Creighton and Drake for his son. Creighton was all he knew as a kid. But now as a young man, he plays for his dad. 
Mosley. What a fire to Clay. Two-hand jam. Ten to start. Up and tripped up and fouled by the net. Missouri State has not had a ton of assists in this game, but I think you got to live or die here with one of the best players in the league, Isaiah Mosley. And you can see everybody's watching him, thinking he's going to score the basketball. So if you're Dana Ford, you got to figure out a way how you can use him, not as a decoy, but the ability to help others get buckets. And Pill, right at Prim, who's got two fouls, travel. And Prim gave a wry little smile. The turnovers massively favoring Drake. And can the Bears level this game or perhaps claim the lead back? Take it away. Hemphill and Mosley are drawing. They're going to add. This is a great matchup. Three ball, Mosley. Sturts has it. And against Patterson. Lead to Sturts. Mid lane. If someone can tell me. What position Garrett Sturts plays? I would love to know because he's like a one, sometimes a four. He plays the five and the two. But he does bring his lunch pail to work. Play right after Breeze. Trying to slip past him, draws the foul. Play comes up slightly hobbled, bends at the waist and stretches. Showing a slight lift. But you, you do Major League Baseball and you watch teams get hot. Drake has this like hot factor to them right now. I call it zombie mode. You see a lot of teams in the playoffs, you know, kind of get in that mode where they just go out there and they just keep winning and they're playing with that confidence. That's what Drake has right now. Trent trying to fight through, holding hands, and a whistle arrives. It'll be two on DeVries. Clay still doesn't quite look right. He seems to be favoring one foot slightly as he set up middle lane to rebound. Now, Prim is 6'9", 235. He's a top 10 free throw shooter in the league. And he leads the league in free throw attempts. But that's his first free throw try of the game. This is what he's done over his last 16. I love the arc he gives on his ball. Gives it plenty of chance to go in. He had 16 and 17 in the quarterfinals. Most rebounds by any Valley player in a game all year. Drake scored the first nine of the second half. Missouri State has not led since the halftime score was on the board early in the second. DeVries wanted the ball up big. Four to shoot. Penn might have been on the line. Limited glass missed. Tip follow off. Bodies flying everywhere. Out of bounds. Missouri State ball. Drake is hot. Winners of six straight. Up five now, trying to keep that momentum going. The state fans are turning out up there. Thinking about Wyoming, I played in that altitude. Oof. Huge advantage for the Cowboys. But you look at their nets, all pretty similar to who? Loyola Chicago. It's Missouri State ball. Isaiah Mosley hasn't scored since about two and a half minutes to go in the first half. He just got knocked down there, a foul. How has that happened? How do you reverse it? I think you go to him in the last 11, 20 of this game. You put him in ball screens. You, you invite that double team. You're having trouble scoring the ball here. You don't get away from 
one of the best players in the league. Now the hit kill his second. But they're going to double him. Mosley at a game high 15 at the break has not scored since. Trying to get DeVries to foul him. Now the whistle comes a little later. And now DeVries is looking at three fouls. Here's the contrast for Mosley, first to second half. We see there's a lot of jawing going on there. I think Mosley is frustrated. If I'm Derek DeVries, I keep getting the ball out of his hands. If I'm Dan DeFord, I keep putting the ball in his hands. Fred and one. Kip Kissinger is trying to put some water right now in the fire between these two teams. Big bucket there by Prim. Right after he scored. This is what John Sadak does when he does a double header. He points right to his muscles. Actually, he points right to his, his throat. The golden pipes. You are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Free throw miss for Brim. The foul to Murphy, his third. Nice tip points to his throat. Hopefully you can see everything that happens off camera. DeVries, rainbow bank. That's only a second main triple. Give him a team high 14. Now the intensity being matched by the offense. And Prim battling. It's a foul. Tramel Murphy's got four. Now on the replay here, you're going to see Prim throw an elbow but the freeze and now Drake's gonna be in the bonus which Missouri State now is gonna be shooting free throws the next 10 35 in the second half huge advantage Prim had been one for three at the line converts on the front end there so Murphy out Darnell Brody back in what do you think of Brody who's only played five minutes so far well his body can match up physically with Prim, but if I was Mosley, I'd be putting Brody in screening opportunities where he'd have to have to come out and guard Mosley. Take advantage of that size on the defensive end. And by the hemp hill pick. In and out, Brody tips it controlled by Prim. I'd be putting Brody right in screen situations right away. Black to Prim. Oh, the up fake up Brody in the air. Drive and bucket. And Prim has sprung the line. The breeze fed. Dribble if he wants, holding that left foot pivot. Ball away. No whistle. And the breeze to the line. Yeah, right away they went right at Brody. There he is. See, no hedge on the screen, and then what a sensational ball fake. But he's still gonna be able to finish. Excellent job here by Prim. And DeVries at the line has now tied Mosley for the game high with 15 points. A confidence from his father saying to the rest of his teammates, get off the free throw line. You don't see that often. Nobody there to rebound. Hits them both. And the Bears have caught fire. They've hit on five of their last six from the field. Travell Murphy on the bench with four fouls for Drake. Play. Tossing over DeVries. Back it in. Back it in. Prim, tippy towing the end line, fighting through. Black wide open. And weak side, it's Penn. Oh, what a pass to Hip Hill. Right at Mosley. And a foul. Jamonte Black leads Missouri State in three point shooting. And makes coming into this game at 73 and he got a wide open look i mean couldn't be more wide open from the corner he's not able to convert now drake's got a chance to push this lead to five and potentially six 
Hemphill, 65% shooter, converts on the first. Remember, if free throw shooting helps decide it, Missouri State is elite as a team at the line. A miss there for Hemphill. Play given space. Backs it up. Prim in a Gumby like battle with DeVries. A whistle comes. Who do you give it on? And it looks like it'll be DeVries with his fourth. I mean, they are just crushing each other in the post. So DeVries has four. It is bonus time, so Prim at the line. And you touched on it right from the start. Drake doesn't go that deep, but now two men with four. So DeVries joins Murphy on the bench, and this means more minutes for Okai Jamgoose, who's basically a pure bench shooter, plays eight minutes a game. Well, now there's so much pressure on number one for the Drake Bulldogs, Roman Peck. Him and Hemphill really have to supply all the offense for Drake, probably for the next four or five minutes to the under four timeout. There is a lot of time left here in regulation. Brody carving out space. Fred guarding Penn up top. Brody fires to start. Blind give turns it over to Clay. Prim creates space. Haney shaping up. Prim pops a high rainbow jumper miss. Like I said, this has got to be Roman Penn time. He's been around the block. He's got the most assists in school history. He has to be making all the decisions here for Drake. Ten to shoot. Penn. Clay might have got a piece. And Mosley's got it. Headman to Prim. Surrounded by Bulldogs. He's fouled. The Bears playing through Prim. Their big man has erupted. It's bracket week. As a head coach, a la the great Al McGuire in his last year at Marquette. Ended up winning a national championship and later told my father who was his first recruit at Belmont Abbey My dad was before he was the Marquette head coach He regretted before the season saying it was gonna be his last season And then he felt like he had to stick to his word because that's like what guys did back in their day They actually stuck to their word <laughs> well, Prim sticks it at the free throw line. He hits them both Missouri State has not known a lead since the halftime score was still on the board. Murphy's back in with four fouls. Penn. Sturz has been quiet since the early stage. Six to shoot. Held in by Haney. Offensive foul. I love Isaac Haney because here's a guy who scored over 3,000 points in high school, and now he comes to Missouri State. Dana Ford was going to redshirt him. And forget about scoring, he does everything else but score. He is like their defensive specialist, energy guy, and that's how he gets minutes at the Division I level. Mosley hasn't scored since the first half. And I like this. Get Brody out in no man's land. Mosley, three ball. The Bears' first lead since the break on the first bucket since then by their star. Brody fed beautifully by Penn. Yeah, because of the foul issues for Drake and no Tucker debris and Murphy's out there at four foul. This has to be Roman Penn's decision making every time down the floor. Prim little it alone by Mosley. Seeing the double. Opposite. Extra pass to Black. Head fake up Sturts. 
Back in Mosley's clutches. Kept the dribble. Over and back. So 6.09 to go. We have already seen Darren DeReeves reinsert Murphy with four fouls. When do you reinsert DeReeves? Under four timeout. Unless you, know, you miss here, Missouri State goes and gets four or five in a row, then you put him back in. But this all has to be number one's time to shine. Let's check in with Evan. Well, guys, they were about to put Tucker DeVries back in, and then Darren, Dad looked over to the sideline to his assistants, and they kind of gave him a look like, no, not right now. So, I mean, he, he was ready to go. He said tough, pulled him up to go, and then they put him back towards the bench. I think they're going to try and survive to that under four, fellas. Appreciate that. You can see him right there in that first seat where you would linger when you were set to check in. Foul, by the way, there to Prim, his third. So four apiece on Murphy and DeVries. Prim now has three from Missouri State. Sitting next to one of the best young assistant coaches in the Midwest, former Ottawa Hawkeye great Matt Gaten. Screaming for help. Brody comes. Five to shoot. Rim and glass miss. Starts maintains. Well, this has got to be Roman Penn's world. Penn against Prim. Nine to shoot. Five to shoot. Into the lane. Murphy off heel. Hemphill had the rebound. Foul on the floor. Both these teams right now fighting and clawing for every basket. First half was kind of, there was a rhythm to it. Now all of a sudden this has become March. This has become grind mode. Now to Haney, his second, one and one for Hemphill as the bonus free throws arrive for the Bulldogs. Only a 65% free throw shooter on the year. One of two today, one of three. Break a solid free throw shooting team of the year. Missouri State, an elite free throw shooting team of the year. I keep setting the screen to try to get Brody out. No man's land. There he is. Prim fed by Mosley. Lukai Patterson was set to sub in, and they beckon the back. Penn behind Brody. Feathers the bounce pass, and Sturts floats it home. Oh, and a steamroll on the end lock. This is excellent job by Isaiah Mosley dragging Brody out to no man's land and then Prim's able to finish leads in the bonus, John. No point to foul him. Well, we got double bonus, foul to Hemphill who's third, and now it's Mosley, who's a top 10 free throw shooter in the country, 91%. He's about as automatic as they come, and now DeVries is back with four fouls. Brody out. This is before the under four. Do you agree? Yes, because you go right into an offensive possession. More than likely, if you're able to crowd this rebound. And a rare miss. He called a free throw miss for a top ten free throw shooter in America. He did not use the word lock. <laughs> Sturts. DeVries, after time of the pine in foul trouble. I, I would not be trying to go one-on-one -on -one with Clay. He's a really good defender. Five to shoot. Murphy needs to put it up. It's heel. What a fight for the loose ball. And Mosley, so aware, launches in the air and plays it off the hip. Him and him have been going at it. Tank's been outstanding here in the second half. It's been physical. It's been March basketball. He did that off his shoulder there. Mosley, what a screen by Prim. Wide open, Clay jams it home. It is snowballing on Drake. The Bulldogs in dire need of a timeout. When Dana Ford arrives in Springfield, Missouri, he said...
under four left. And remember, individual fouls. Murphy and DeVries, four apiece for Drake and Darren DeVries. And you got to think this is going to be a call play for Tucker DeVries here out of the timeout. DeVries denied in the corner by Mosley. Ten surveys. DeVries against the undersized Haney. On a switch, it's Clay. He's done a great job on DeVries today. Fall away. Contested shot off heel. Rebound of Clay. Bear ball. And Clay's been just superb on defense and DeVries has got to know better you don't set a screen when Clay is going to be switched on to you he basically switched himself onto a good defender Mosley on the drive loses it off of Drake and hit Hill out of bounds the individual words in this game have been outstanding absolutely that the hemp hill Isaiah Mosley battle has been Mosley in the first half, half hemp hill advantage in the second half Ring the bell. They go again. Print the ball screen. On a switch. Murphy with four fouls guarding Mosley. Two to shoot. Fall away. And the four. Pen up top. Murphy rebound. Put back. A still one possession game, no need to foul, although the free throws are starting to add up now because Darren reads the squad, every foul is going to be two shots. But last time Mosley got Hemphill off of him and he was able to make that tough fadeaway at the end of the shot clock. Prim screens again, it's Murphy forced to pick up Mosley. Spins it. And a foul. It does he walk? That's the question. He definitely didn't walk. And the foul was the help from Penn, his third. It was a foul. Penn is pleading his case currently. But Penn's got to know better there. He's a senior. He's been on the block. Where was Mosley going? No need to reach in there. The runner up for player of the year in the league. Mosley snaps twine a game high 23. Two minutes and Drake needs offense. The breeze head fake on a deep three. Looking for help. Penn. Down the lane. And one Roman Penn. It's going to be three and Jamonte Black. Well, he makes up for it on the offensive end. Look at the foolish foul on the defensive end, on the reach in. And this is just a sensational drive where you step through and you push on through and finish with your offhand. Excellent free throw shooter. Bulldogs within two. DeVries fronts with his length. Clay felt the double and he rips up the sideline past it. Foul in transition. Send it the other way. That's going to be Clay second. And I, I, watch Clay extend this arm. Right there. Sturtz is pumped. One possession game. St. Louis is rocking. Something's got to give. And the ball is flying for the Bulldogs, who haven't led since it was 55 54. 90 seconds remain. Murphy, DeVries for the lead. Hits heel. Rebound starts. Bulldog ball. And attacking play. Murphy begging for it, lurking in the left corner. Penn a couple of jab steps, nine to shoot. Penn over Clay, fouled! How did he foul him there? He 
got him right on the hand. Excellent call by the official. Play is long. He needs to be going up and down vertical. Instead, he comes down with the hand and definitely got a piece of Roman Penn. The all-time assist leader in program history at the line to try to tie. Converts on the first. He missed on Arch Madness last year. He missed on March Madness when Drake posted its first NCAA tournament win at half a century to the day. Can this veteran senior even it up? Tie it! The winner is on to face Loyola Chicago in the championship. And the clock, I don't believe, started upon entry there. Yeah, this has been quite a stars making big plays. Everything coming together in this one. They take two off the shot clock, one off the game clock. One timeout for Drake, two Missouri State. And they'll call one here. And Dana Ford wants to talk it over, tied at 66. With 103 left in regulation as we examine. I would set a screen so that Tank Hemphill is not guarding Mosley. He has had success against other Bulldogs. You know, maybe targeted the Vries with four fouls. You don't want Hemphill guarding Mosley if you're Dana Ford like he is right now. Mosley has it stolen away by the Vries. A freshman with four fouls just picked the pocket of one of the elite offensive superstars in this league. Yeah, now Drake can get a two for one if they act fast. And the skirts. DeVries wanted the ball. Corner, Murphy. Prim gives him no space, seven to shoot. Penn, the veteran, five to shoot against the freshman of Haney. Three to shoot. And a foul on the floor. It's double bonus, both teams. Haney slapped with his third. Penn back to the line where he had just tied it and brought forth our current school. I love the guts that Roman Penn has played with in this game. It was a five-point deficit. He drives in, gets the three-point plays, made every clutch free throw, and now a chance to give his team a lead late in this game. They haven't led since the 744 mark. Drake leads with 27.4 to go. Last year, it came down to the final two and a half seconds. The driving shot from the since departed by transfer Joseph Yesifu. Penn hits them both. Missouri State with the ball and the timeout. Timer off. Mosley v. Hemphill. I mean, get Hemphill off of Mosley somehow with a ball screen. This is not a great matchup for Mosley. 15 seconds. Mosley. Hands misses. Tip is off. Loose ball. Out of bounds. Hard. Slammed to the floor by Penn. He and Prim fought for the free basketball. 8.3. And Penn is fired up. Once again, Mosley the touch in the paint here because in the bonus, excellent free throw shooter. I think that's where Mosley's going to be looking. Mosley to call the break. He's got 23. Lob to Prim. Back to Mosley. Knocked free. Mosley, five seconds. Against Murphy, three seconds. Lead to Trey. Tie game. Inbound to Penn. His heave. Overtime arrives in the Valley semifinals. One for a piece for Drake. Individually, a quartet of Bears have three. Haney, Black, Clay, and Prim. So Hemphill at a decided disadvantage to jump against Prim. And Mosley's got it. His dime, one of only six on the game for the Bears, gave Donovan Clay possession in the bucket to force overtime. Driving on Hemphill. A man on a mission. Oh, 
Roman Penn. The veteran point guard bounces to Murphy. Guarded by Prim. Contested shot is good. Big pocket there. Could have been an N1, I thought, in my mind. That was some... This game has been physical. And this has been the matchup we have watched the entire afternoon into evening. Hempill on Mosley. Great play in its lead high sixth overtime game of the year. Make that tie for the most in the country. Penn saves it. DeVries. Alley oop! Disrupted! Haney caught up with Murphy. They look tired. Everybody looks tired. The Breeze should be trying to get a different matchup other than Clay to try to make something happen offensively. Each team is fairly thin and contested by Black. One on the timer. What's possible here? You know, whenever something's impossible, I feel like this is when Garrett Sturts, like, has an offensive rebound or just an, always seems to be around the ball. Penn calls the break. One second. There starts. <laughs> Off the iron, Haney. He just has like that magnetic personality that the ball just finds him. <laughs> and he certainly finds Mosley, an elite scorer. What a screen by Prim. Banker off target, tip by Sturts. Penn corrals it. And Mosley's won for his last five. And one for his last four is being matched up against Hemphill. The breeze on the drive. The lead. His name is Murphy. Tramel Murphy's biggest games came in the semis and the championship in this tournament last year. Prim. Played against the man with four fouls. That was easy. Yeah, food for thought going forward. Run that play more often. Because of the four fouls and because Prim's an excellent free throw shooter. The exhaustion for these young men who are playing for the right to play again tomorrow for an automatic entry to the NCAA tournament. Oh, and DeVries took great exception with Prim. The animosity is built over the course of the game on each side. Oh, no doubt. You got some fiery personalities out there. Exchanging haymakers and playing into an overtime session. Yeah, because you don't play three games in three days only twice in a year, right? Whether it's a holiday tournament or it's a conference tournament. In the NCAA, you have a day's rest. Here, no day's rest. So you're right, this will be the third game in three days, which Dana Ford's team has not had in a very long time. The breeze hits them both. And again, nobody middling to rebound, as you had pointed out on his earlier journey. That's the faith of a father. I would go back to Prim, but it was just too easy last time. Ten ties, 15 lead changes in the seesaw. Mosley spinning on Sturts. And the foul to Sturts. That'll be his third. Isaiah Mosley's like, forget what you're saying, Tim Doyle. I'm a one on one here. I'm 19 points a game. Almost able to get that one in. You know, oddly enough, it was the exempt tournament. An event like you're talking about, the MTE, as it's called these days. That's when Mosley seemed to peak. And that's when Dana Ford said he saw the crash come. And right after that, they had their league opener. But Dana Ford was not too happy about playing in the early stage of December. And then a ranked BYU team. And that was the turnaround point for Mosley and the team. That was when Dana Ford sat him for most of the contest. He has been dominant ever since. Much less movement by both teams. You can feel their exhaustion. Murphy out of the corner. Weak side starts. DeBreeze in run up. Bucket.
Mosley glides across. The Bears call timeout. Karen DeBreeze has two. Well, this has been the Isaiah Mosley show and fantastic success in the first half. A bit more up and down in the second half, but I got a feeling number one and White's going to get the ball. Luke Guy Patterson, who's been on the bench for a long time, is back in. Prim locked in a battle down low. Patterson cuts. Play six to shoot. DeVries beat off the fast Clay! Shades of his play at the end of regulation. Drake up one. And Darren DeVries wants a timeout. And we'll take one as well. 46.2 remaining in overtime, number one. No trouble. That's when Missouri State got back into the game. I think this is going to be Tucker DeVries time. Lukai Patterson on the bench, surprisingly, is not matched up. We got Clay matched up with Roman Penn. Drake ball out of the Bulldog call timeout. 15 to shoot. Skirt sets the screen. Penn feeds the screener right back to Penn. Seven to shoot. Penn, the contested triple. Tips out of bounds. Timer off. Bear ball down a point. I did not love that possession. You got one of the best defenders in the valley guarding Roman Penn. Massive height advantage. No ball movement. Everybody standing around. Especially out of a timeout, I expected a little bit more from Drake. When do you want to see a shot clock here? Well, it looks like Moses is going to go right away. Mosley does. Rejected! A swat by Hemphill. Yeah, Mosley is stubborn. He, he just refuses for a screen to come because Hemphill has had the better of the matchup here in the second half. Prim screening, cutting, hey. finishing. Get Hage Prim bears ahead. Nine seconds. Pen down the floor. DeVries, the freshman. Four seconds. DeVries. Four writhing and free throws coming in a one-point game. Back and forth we go. It looks like the Bulldogs are not going to have anyone here on the first try. That I think is expected. That's been the norm all game. And he converts to tie the game. And this is what you dream about as a kid. Timeout, Missouri State. I'm surprised you could call a timeout there. Now you got to put in your play right now. Is that walk to the game? Can he finish with a flurry? His triple had put them up by three just a few possessions ago. Can his free throw surge them ahead with 1.1 left? Nobody middle lane to rebound. And he hits it, 1.1. And Drake is going to call timeout. So the final timeout has to all around athlete number five in white. No timeouts, length of the floor, no pressure on entry for Prim. He serves as quarterback looking for a Hail Mary. Down a point, 1.1. 1. 1. DP! Clay! Off the iron! And the Drake Bulldogs make it back to back trips to the championship game.